Welcome one and all. We've got Kaiser in the house. Kaiser. And I've got this one. It is so inexpensive. It's embarrassing. You're going to have to go confess your sins after paying so little money for this knife. Uh, you know what? And at first when I thought, when I saw it, I, I go, okay. <clears throat> um, maybe not so much my favorite Kaiser, you know, at on paper. Okay. And it's not my favorite Kaiser even now, but I was duly impressed with this. Right hand tip up only. Did you catch that? Deep carry. But you got those tapered screws going in there. I mean, that's... I like their pocket clips. They're good. In and out of the pocket. Wonderful. Okay. No, this is not like a button lock or anything. It's just a liner lock. But it's uh, there for cancer. So it's called the fighter, right? You got to fight. Fight the C word. Uh, you could think of some other c words but okay cancer this is to honor that the fight for cancer this is a jonathan styles okay design and he did the k box and and the other one that i can't remember now the fixed blades that i did recently on my channel right so that's how i mean i was looking him up because when i got those fixed blade knives I go, oh, hold on, who is Styles? And um, I looked that up, and now I'm, you know, following him on Instagram. But this one is a folder, my friends. And 154CM G10, nice and grippy. It's not my carta. Thank you, God. Thank you. I love it. Okay, thank you. Uh, actually, okay. Once I got this in my hands and I did this, I mean, this is like, psh, this is typical Kaiser these days. What they're doing, I don't know. Okay, the drop is just, is just crazy good. You know that. You probably got some Kaisers. I get you. Okay, preaching to the choir. But, finger flick, no problem. Look at this knife. I mean, at first glance on paper, and it's like 56 bucks. So, Okay, so you get this thing from White Mountain Knives, whatever, 59 bucks. Okay, and then like, what's that, $6 off, 10% discount with LTK discount code. So, okay, so 53 bucks. And any more knives with 154 CM, I'm not talking about a D2 shooter, okay, with 154 CM are normally starting around $70, $75, okay? So this is at the, in the low 50s. This is good, okay? Here's the stats, okay? Pocket clip. Yeah, it's including a pocket clip and bearings. Um, yeah, 3.2, so 7.32. So, you know, it's not it's it's not a big knife, but it's not small either. It's got room for all your fingers. Look at that blade. I mean, that is that's practical. Oh, really the whole knife design here I, the more i look at it the more i go wow i mean i thought it was kind of kitschy with the cancer thing and all that and blah 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 and okay i get you and yeah whatever and but you know what N now that i got it in my hands and i've had this for a couple weeks now it's it it's yeah it growing on me you know it really is it's growing on me um you know, it's definitely usable and it is got the kind of blade that's makes sense for piercing, slicing, all that kind of stuff. Um, it's just a good drag around user. And, and that's what you can do literally with it is drag it around because this G10, it don't matter. It ain't going to mark up. It don't matter. You can just grab it, throw it in your pocket and it's not overly heavy you know, that kind of thing either, but it's got grippiness. And then you got these cutaways, which kind of add to the tactile response here. But I mean, you got jimping all the way up and down here. And then, you know, I'm okay with the purple and green. I, I think that's kind of cool. I, I would prefer it 
uh, this way over just all black, you know, or whatever. So, yeah, I like the color thrown in there, too. But, you know, it's an open design. It's not nested liners, but the liners are skeletonized. We'll take this apart. But still, yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, just the more I handle it and drag it around and use it, the more I warm up to it, to tell you the truth. And, you know, I love that Rich Light Sheepdog, full-size Sheepdog, not the XL, but, you know, uh, I like that, too. And then I've got, oh, God, where's my mini sheep? Oh, God, i got a mini sheep in toxic fat carbon with 20 C. Oh, baby, that is so freaking sharp. And at first, it had a little squeak to it when I dropped. And God dang it, where is the knife? Oh, shit, it's in the other room. Okay, but, I mean, I hit it with some KPL and psh, worked it a little way. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, it's, it's great. Drop is awesome. Yeah, okay, so you get extra hardware, which is nice on, on something this inexpensive. I mean, and from Kaiser. I mean, you can get some off-brand shit that's in that, you know, range and stuff, I guess, but and here you go. And they, they give you an extra little sticker there, too. So it's Vanguard series. You know, it's their budget series, etc. That that Sheepdog Mini, uh-uh, uh-uh. But, hell, I got that on Mojave because I had some Mo coins. You get some Mo coins? Have you ever done Mojave outdoor? Holy crap. I had like $150 worth of credit on there. And that... That sheepdog knife was like 178. You know, so <laughs> you gonna buy it too? Yeah, for 28 bucks? Hell yeah. Um, so yeah, I love it too. This is so easy to kick open. It's really fidget friendly. There's your lockup on this thing. That's 35 to 40 percent. And, you know, it, it's tough. It's tough. Those liners are, they're not nested little half millimeter or whatever the hell. These are, these are, yeah, this is more the stuff. And this G10, I love it. Love it. So, yeah, I, at first, I mean, it took a while to kind of just gather myself up and look at this style's design. And then realize that it's really a damn good design. And it's nice that, that... They got the thumb studs on here. It's not a flipper, front flipper, top flipper, nothing. But this, and you know, there's where it's going to hit you, right? That nub over the detent quick, and baby, she jumps off of it because it's so drop shutty, okay? I haven't done nothing to this. This is the way it came out of the box. It's just been that way since day one. And... uh uh, the design flows nice, flows right into the bolster here, blade to handle length, eh, reasonable enough. Maybe you could have stuffed another 30 second in there or something, but not too shabby there, huh? Three and a quarter down to here, if you're... If you're begging for mercy, up here, 3.15, 3.17, I don't know, somewhere in there. 3.15 inch, 7 and a quarter overall length, though, at close to 18 and a half centimeters. See what I'm saying? So it's not a 3 and a 7. It's bigger than that. But, and how chunky is the monkey? Um, a little over three ounces. That's pretty much nothing. Um, not quite 90 grams, but close. Okay. And, is it slender in the pocket? Mm, not necessarily. 12.6, so this would be 49. So, half inch. That's pretty standard, standard stuff. Okay, let me get on here. Now, this is going to be 0.27 millimeter blade stock. So, this is kind of how they're running these days, which is fine. This thinner blade stock, uh, there's no reason not to have it. I mean, it cuts just great. Now, here we are. Detent. Let me see where that detent stops. Let's see, it's already over. Where? There it is. So, once it's past there, it's, you know, you're good. Oop. 
didn't leave it. Reverse flick and then uh, thumb flick. Yeah, I mean, this is just so flickable, easy, and you know, it's centered. I got no blade player lock rock. It's solid. It's good. What do you think? I mean, not bad. The pocket clip works. It's not a lefty. They could have done that real easy, too. So I don't know why they didn't, really, to tell you the truth. They could have, and they do on so many of their knives. I think they should have. Uh, but you know what? This is, this is, and it's kind of a conversation thing, too. You know, fight for cancer, blah, blah, blah. But also, uh, nice, nice colors, everything. Easy in the hand. Great ergos. Well, let's see what we're going to do. Well, we ain't going to do nothing from the front side here. So we're going to do it from the back side. Let's crack, crack this screw off. And it didn't take much. And then these are number sixes. So, okay. Well, we didn't get overly fancy with the hardware. I get you. Then again, I'm not paying for fancy. Um, but I, uh, I like the fact it's functional and I guess if we crack this pocket clip off, then we can separate the, uh, scale from the liner. And so let's do that. And so those screws look the same size to me. Here comes this and let's take that body screw and put it back over here. There's your G10. Um, and here's your liner. And yeah, it looks like captured here. Pivot. So squared off. It ain't going to spin on you. Spin to win. So this is easy. It's nice and shiny. No sharp edges. Little ceramic detent ball in there. And ceramic bearings. Okay. Nothing to worry about there or there. There you go. And um, thumb studs are nice. Uh, I'm guessing aluminum. And uh, let's take a look at this side. Okay, so we're captured on this side with this thing because we got it squared off right there as it comes through. Skeletonized liner. Not on this side, but on this side we did. And there's your standoffs. That's just pretty easy, breezy, self-forward, you know, uh, straightforward uh, disassembly. Kaiser, Vanguard, fighter, fighter. You got to fight for your right to have a fighter. Um, and hopefully they're in stock. And they're slicey little, little bastards, aren't they? Woo! Woo, yes. Um, so, Styles, he's got style, doesn't he? The Kaiser Fighter, kind of surprising. We do. We love them knives. You might want to subscribe to my channel. And remember, stay sharp.